Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Our book is available for download on Amazon. Hello! Today, I'm going to be reading you the book, Violet's Voyages, Switzerland, the St. Bernard Adventure, written by Denise Kahn and illustrated by Rumi Caron. Violet closed her eyes and quickly fell asleep. In her dreams, the stars winked at her. Oh, how she wanted to touch them! Violet saw a suiting star and reached for the sky. She caught it and held on tightly. Violet loved going on adventures and rode the star to a big mountain, the Matterhorn. The Matterhorn is in the Alps, in the country of Switzerland. Part of it is in Italy, and there it is known as Servino. Violet looked up at the high peak. A blizzard started, but she didn't mind. Suddenly, Violet felt a hot breath on the side of her face. Who could it be? It was a big dog, a beautiful Saint Bernard with a barrel under his furry neck. What's your name? Violet asked. Bernie and yours? Violet, what's in the barrel? Hot chocolate. I'm on a mission. A skier is missing on the mountain. I have to find him. Do you want to come with me? Oh, yes, Violet answered, thrilled to be on such an adventure. Hang on, Bernie said. Oh, I am. They headed up the mountain. Bernie lifted his head and sniffed the air. Did you find the skier? Violet asked. I did, Bernie answered. We're not far. Bernie suddenly stopped. They had found the skier. He was buried in the snow. I have to get him out, Bernie said. Can I help? She asked, sliding off her new friend. Of course, Bernie answered. Bernie licked the skier's face. His tongue was so big, it covered the boy's eyes, nose, and cheeks. After a few licks, the skier woke up. Oh, what is that? The boy gasped. Then he realized he had been saved. He hugged Bernie. The big dog was warm and furry. My name is Hans. Bernie has some hot chocolate so you can warm up, Violet said. Oh, this is hot and delicious. Thank you both very much. Bernie and Violet started digging hands out of the snow. After a little while, he was able to get up. They went down the mountain under the heavy, snowy rain. Violet and Hans held on to Bernie. They arrived in the little village of Zermatt and went to a warm salet. I bid you Frieden. It means peace in German, which is one of the languages we speak in Switzerland, Bernie said. Well, Frieden to you too, my friend. As they snuggled by the fireplace, Bernie was a good pillow. They fell asleep, tired from their adventure. Violet woke up the next morning and saw Bernie's barrel. Hadn't it been a dream? Violet wondered where the next shooting star would take her and who she would meet. Thank you.